Hey guys, Zion Tawa here with uh, a Destiny video to show you what all the buzz is about this morning. Um, the first thing you'll want to do is make sure you have plenty of heavy ammo synths um, because you're going to need rockets, and if you don't have rockets, well, then you can't do this. Um, basically, what I'm here to show you is an easy way to get um, exotic Ingrams. Um, you usually can get about three, maybe even four, in about 15-20 minutes of work. Um, you'll want to go see Xur and make sure you have, I'd say, at least um, 21 strange coins. Um, you're going to come over here to Xur, and um, he's going to be selling an item called the Three of Coins. They come in stacks of five. I recommend you have 15 on hand, so you'll want 21 coins because they cost seven per stack. So you'll buy up <clears throat> Sorry, uh, three stacks of them. And then what you'll want to do is once you make sure you have your heavy ammo sense and you have your uh, three of coins, um, you're going to want to go out to orbit and select the mission Scourge of Winter. Um, I apologize for the loading screen here. I didn't expect it to be this long. Um, I would have cut it out otherwise, but um, it's there. Um, but you'll, you'll be wanting to go to the uh, Scourge of Winter quest on Venus, um, which I'll show you right here. Um, I actually bit, was doing this on an alt and realized I actually never done the quest, but Scourge of Winter right there, um, and simply launch the quest. Um, for the most part, you can run through the entire, the mission. entire mission. There's one part right here where you have to stop and kill these three uh, Kel Kel's Guardi or uh, Kel's, Kel's Guard. Um, there's three of them. Um, just kill three of them. Wait, wait, it, it, it'll t uh, your ghost will talk to you about the Kells Guard. Kill all three. Move on. Um, I mean, you, you can just run past anything. Um, do your little bunny hop jump, you know, to avoid a fire. Uh, if you're a warlock or whatnot, gliding is not the best thing to be doing. Um, the Kell must be close. But you clear the Kells Guard, and you can pretty much just run all the way to the final boss. So here we are at the final boss. The first thing you'll want to do is before you go in the room, you'll want to use one of those um, three of coins items that'll give you the boost to exotics. Um, I was just showing you the buff there. Um, whenever you kill a uh, ultra, uh, basically you'll just want to burn, burn him down. Pretty much uh, ignore the ads. If they get annoying, throw a grenade. Just kind of clear some of them out. Um, you'll want to burn him down to close to dead. Um, basically, you'll see how close I get him. You don't have to get him this close. Um, I think I get him... Uh, well, that's actually not that close. Um, yeah. So, you'll want to rocket, hit, ro shoot a rocket at him when you're right in his face so that it kills you. Um, that way... That way, it kills you too the instant you kill him. And... Um, so that you'll basically be respawned right before the boss with the boss spawned again. Um, so you get more, basically, you don't have to run through the mission over and over to do the same thing. Um, you'll just respawn, um, kill him again by, with killing yourself. And sometimes he'll drop an exotic, sometimes he won't. And then when you run out of uh, uh, the three of coins, you can either just leave or you can just kill him off without killing yourself that time. And um, I've done this uh, about 30 times, and I've ended up with uh, six exotics. Um, pretty sweet thing. Uh, I figure Bungie will probably be patching this soon, so make sure you do it and uh, benefit from this. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Stop,